morning guys and happy Wednesday. What day is it today? It doesn't matter. I think it might be Wednesday. You're not going to work. It's the next day. We're um, sitting in today, we're waiting for the midwife to come. That is definitely happening at some point today. And there's just been a knock on the door, we've had a delivery guy arrive. With this massive box of something. I have no idea what this is. But I'm quite excited to see what's inside. This baskets galore. Oh, whoa, that's huge! All sorts of fun food stuff, healthy stuff, too. Is that coconut? I don't even know how to open a coconut. I need an extra hand. How awesome is that? a note. <laughs> what is it, Shep? What is it? Baby boy. Aww. Does that mean it's only for him? Yes. <laughs> he wants flaxseed. To Chris and Jenny, congratulations on your beautiful baby boy. We hope that this gift gives you an energy boost. You guys will need it. Love Ray and Sarah. Aww. Thank you. How cool is that? Do you want some, mate? See where they go in the box. <laughs> Shep loves being in the box, but I think that box might be a bit too small for him. <laughs> yeah, too to high him. and too small. Hello. If it pleased you, he'd go in it. <laughs> yeah. If it pleased you, but we'd probably get done for animal cruelty if we tried. <laughs> we wouldn't package him in, like that we'd done it or anything. That's true. This is my dog. You two look cute. Right, start eating. But yeah, let's open it. This basket has got all sorts of cool stuff in it. We've got pear crisps and granola bars and what I found this I think it's an avocado but it's like the tiniest avocado do avocados come this small? baby avocado for the baby the only thing is I really don't know how I'm going to get into this I have absolutely no idea I'm going to have to google how to open a coconut there's a special screw on the side there is not there is you turn the screw like no I've tried in the shoot. past to open coconut and I did it eventually but it was not the most efficient way. It involved wrapping it in a tea towel and then like banging the tea towel against the floor <laughs> until it opened. <laughs> not the most efficient way. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Oh, by trying the pear fruit crisps, which I didn't think were actually gonna look like crisps. I thought they were gonna be like dried apple. They look pretty yummy. One of the things we got at the baby shower was this pretty little box for all of Nate's little bits and pieces, which I'm about to open up and use for the first time. One thing I really love about this is that the little bear and the bunny rabbit completely match Nate's bedroom and it's just really nice that once his bedroom's kind of been redecorated or we've moved this box of all his first stuff is still gonna match I think that's really cute so to go in here what drawers do we have my hospital bracelet we have got one of those a safe and then for his my bits and bobs drawer we've got this which is Pip's very not even Pips. It's Nate's very first money. Um, it was given to him by his granddad for good luck and it is the brand new pound coin. So you keep that safe. After waiting what appears to be all day, well it kind of is, it's now four o'clock, the midwife has now been and gone. I can't believe that she could have arrived any time from 10 o'clock. They then gave us a closer time slot and she was still nearly an hour late. The biggest problem we've had, I guess, from the past what, week or two, is the waiting around for midwives, visitors, that sort of stuff. Because they don't, and I can understand why, but they don't go, right, we're gonna be here around this sort of time. They kind of go, we're coming on this day, be around. You can't do anything. Luckily it's raining, I don't wanna go outside, but yesterday, no, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, when it was sunny, if she was supposed to be coming then, I'd have been like, really disappointed. Yeah, because anyway. we'd have missed the only sunny day for the whole week. Oh, uh, hopefully they're gonna get fewer and far between. Yeah, well that's midwives done now, we're now discharged from the midwives. Oh, discharged from midwives? Yeah. And he's okay? He is. Uh, we, we're being he's told perfect. that his, his lump should should go down, but it might take weeks, mm. maybe even months, to go completely. But we'll see. I'm hungry. We've not had any lunch because we've been waiting for this lady! Mm. And I knew that we'd have something to eat, we'd sit down and then she'd turn up. So, kind of need food in my stomach. I'm yes. hungry. The only person in this household that's been... Uh, has the dog even been fed today? Yes, he has been okay. fed. I looked after him. So the dog and the baby have been fed in this house, but the parents, we have not had any food. No. This is stupid. We need food. We have leftover pizza from yesterday because we got way too much pizza. 
His bone get on free. Thought last week it was really good when it was reheated, so I thought we'd get more. Better value for money. Um, and we have oh, a bit of bacon. We can have bacon sandwiches. Yeah. Well, one of us could have bacon. One of us could have bacon sandwiches. One of us could have pizza. Or we could both have both. I can have all of it. No, is that what you're saying? all of it. I'm sure that's what you're suggesting. No, well, you could have one bacon sandwiches and two slices of pizza. Deal. We have just, like, literally 10 seconds ago, eaten the very last mouthful of last night's pizza. And as we finished it, Chris got an email from Domino's to say, How was your order? How did they know? How? How? That is scary stuff. They must have been spying on us. Thank you, Domino's. It was good pizza. This little guy has been a superstar today and he let me eat semi-warm pizza. Semi-warm, I had to finish feeding him first. But then I got warm pizza. Now he's fast asleep, but dunk, dunk. It's official, Nathan has now seen all his grandparents. My mum has just left, had a bit of a quick stop by, she's finally allowed to see him. Um, all being given the okay from the doctors, I don't know how much we told you the other day, but anyway, Nathan's seen all his grandparents. Look at his face. His... <laughs> <laughs> what is up with your face, mate? Oh, hello. What's with your face? She was being mean about your face. He you looks troubled. Oh, are you, missing, are you missing your grandma already? And she came with gifts. Gifts is always good. They say you shouldn't see a baby empty-handed. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. That's an awesome I'm, thing. I'm quite enjoying this thing. We should have more babies if people come not empty-handed. <laughs> she brought some cookies, which is awesome. Ginger cookies, which are probably the best, and something else. Where is it? Some hot chocolate things, some dark chocolate, and some chocolate marshmallow. Jen said she was going to bed until she realised we had this, and at which point she decided that she's going to not be in focus. She's going to have one of these and not go to bed, even though you really should, Jen. I know I really should. I'm really tired. But I really want hot chocolate. Have a hot chocolate. Thanks. Then go to bed. Okay. Can I have a hot chocolate in bed? No, you'll make a mess of it. You cannot be trusted. <laughs> that is true. It tastes absolutely amazing. And look at that giant marshmallow just polluting away. <gasps> Cookies. After Chris's mum left earlier, we decided that we were both really, really tired. So we went up for a family nap and I had a sleep, Chris had a sleep, and Nate had a sleep all at the same time, which was amazing. We got proper rest. Well, we got about 45 minutes of actual rest before the little one decided to get up. Needed feeding, so kind of put paid to my napping, but at least I got something, which was nice. We've just realized though that it's gone 10 o'clock and we haven't had any dinner. So Chris has had to run out to the shop to see if he can buy something for us to eat for dinner. But the only shop that's open now is kind of like a petrol station style shop, so I'm not quite sure what he's gonna come back with. At least it's something to put in our bellies. It's not gonna be particularly healthy. But that's okay, because Nathan, Nathan, little, little Nathan is only 10 days old. And really, we don't think we should be expecting to eat pretty healthy stuff at this point. You know, we have a quick tidy up while Chris is out and Nathan's still asleep. Can't believe that he's only had one outfit change. That was the first thing this morning. And he's been in this single sleep suit and a vest underneath all day. We have had no nappy accidents whatsoever. So glad we got rid of those Asda nappies. A couple of days ago when we were still using Asda nappies, we would have been through at least four outfit changes by now. Pretty much every single time we changed his nappy, he needed some, some bit of clothing change. Because the back leaked, the legs leaked, they were awful. But these are back to being Aldi nappies now. He had a couple of pampers in the middle, and he's back on his Aldis. And he has not leaked a single time since we got rid of the Asda ones. It's definitely the nappies, and definitely not our early parenting, not being able to put a nappy on skills. Just rubbish, rubbish nappies. Or at least nappies that just didn't fit our baby. So I came back with some bacon and some bread, so we can have bacon sandwiches. But Jen decides that she wants instead some salad. Seriously, I have a choice of bacon sandwiches and salad. Unless you're a vegetarian, who would do that? If you hadn't brought the salad back, I couldn't have chosen it. That's so true. So you thought that the salad was a good idea. Subconscious healthiness. Exactly. It's about time we change this one's nappy, but he's still fast asleep and he's doing his best to stay asleep. Despite being relocated. We were asked yesterday about the lump on his head. He does have quite a big bump up here. 
He's been told multiple times now that it's completely fine. It's just one of those things. It's a bit of fluid outside of his skull. And it's basically just a big bruise. And it'll go down in the next few weeks. It's the only blemish on this perfect little boy. But he's completely fine. He's just a little bit bumpy. Hey. And he's super sad because he's got to wake up. Oh, oh, that looked like a hard one. Also, we haven't shown you his outfit today. So he's been wearing this sleep suit all day with no nappy leakage whatsoever because Aldi nappies are awesome. But underneath he has this super cute little vest on, which is Mummy's superhero. He is. I think it's a Morrison's one. It is lovely. Look at those toes. <laughs> Tickle your toes. This town.